today we are discussing the pioneers of thermal energy. Before we had any idea of what thermal energy was, we had the phlogiston theory. This stated that any objects that can burn have phlogiston in them. So when they did burn, they released the phlogiston into the air. And while in the air, they were absorbed by the plants. That's why they thought that air did not burn. Robert Boyle, on the other hand, uh, created his Boyle's Law in which gases in different size containers had varying pressures. So a small container would have a larger pressure than a big container. And from this, he concluded that heat is motion of particles. Fun fact, he studied with Galileo. The next guy is Antoine Lavoisier. He did a phosphorus experiment where he burned phosphorus in a closed container and the mass increased, so he concluded that combustion adds mass. He was later killed by guillotine in the French Revolution. The third guy is Count Rumford. He did a friction experiment in which he drilled a cannon and boiled water. From this, he concluded that heat is made through motion. And from his physics work, he was then knighted in 1784. James Prescott Jewell. He had an, an electric motor, and through this, he changed heat into mechanical work and back again. And so he concluded that heat and mechanical work are directly related. Fun fact, one joule equals one newton over one meter. And this has been Pioneers of Thermal Energy.